All right, let's talk about another team where their head coach is coming under fire. It's the Las Vegas Raiders. We got a lot going forward. We got a quarterback controversy between Gardner Minshew and Aiden O'Connell. We got Devontae Adams just sitting out just because he wants to be traded, just Spin hanging out, seeds. seeing what's going to happen. And then we have Antonio Pierce calling out his team week in and week out, looking good one week, horrible the next week. What's going on with this Raiders team, JJ? You know, it was really bad vibes for the Raiders going into this game, right? And they're 2-2, two and two, a little surprising. They were coming off an upset win over Cleveland. Vibes should be okay, you know, getting Max Crosby back. And then they go into this game, and it was, you know, Devontae Adams has played his last snap as a Raider. It is simply a matter of when. Um, there are some other concerns, like will the Raiders pay down a good chunk of his salary? Will anyone wind up giving him uh, – you know, uh, giving the Raiders a second round pick. But you, we're talking about Antonio Pierce here, who he said that uh, after an early game, and Mike, you were all over this, like uh, some players made some business decisions. I'm going to be making some business decisions. We may have to make some business decisions. And then, you know, he kind of walked that back and apologized. Okay. And then liking the Instagram post that wondered whether uh, Devontae Adams had played his final snap as a Las Vegas Raider. You know, I've heard from a bunch of people around the league, why is the coach still on Instagram? And I've kind of thought, I don't know that there is another coach that's on Instagram. And if there is, it's one of those accounts that a social media manager kind of handles for them. Um, and so then that happened. There's just been a, a, a number of missteps, I think, uh, by the entire Raiders organization that it shows me there's misalignment from the top down. You hear all the time about from ownership to GM to head coach to quarterback. There is no way that all four of those men, and really it's five because we don't know who the quarterback is, are on the same page, right? Mark Davis wants a certain thing. Tom Telesco, a two-time general manager who has been put into this sort of arranged marriage with a former rival team with a first-time head coach with two quarterbacks that maybe Aiden O'Connell actually won the job in preseason, but... Gardner Minshew ultimately gets the job coming out of preseason. And so all of these things keep happening to a team that at two and two going into yesterday's game, there should have been better vibes around. And unfortunately, there's not. Yeah, it's just when you talk about their record two and two, I mean, they went on the road and beat the Baltimore Ravens. There's something to be said about this. If you're in this locker room, you have to find a way to circle the wagons mentally and block out all this hoopla with your coach and your star receiver. At the end of the day, you're going to go out there and play football. Obviously there's a dark cloud looming over the Vegas facility right now. You're about to lose your best player. You said it. it's only a matter of when he's played his last snaps as a Raider. And as it pertains to leadership, is there leadership right now? That's my question. And at the end of the day, nobody really knows unless they're there all day, every day, and part of that program. But as an out from an outsider looking inside, looking inside, it just looks to be disheveled, disjointed, and terrible, and par for the course for the Raiders. Unfortunately, I think that's the biggest thing, in my opinion, is that they were two and two. And it went south with Devonta Adams and Antonio Pierce. Like, like this wasn't a Jaguar situation or a Dolphin situation where it just kind of the wheels came off Can't for win. one we reason or another. You were in the thick of the AFC playoff picture a week ago. You know, there's truly a below 500 team right now is the last wild card in the AFC. So they are in it. If the relationship got this bad in a month where you went two and two. They had to know it was before the season, right? This had to be known, I, I feel like. Am I crazy? How does it go this bad this quickly? No. And, and you know, Mike, that's interesting because I was at Raiders camp um, and Devontae Adams, uh, he, he and the mother of his child, they were expecting the birth uh, of the child and the thought there was, okay, he's going to fly out and, you know, spend a day, two, and then he's going to come back. He was gone for 10 days. And that was not the expectation on the Raiders' end. And I, it was one of those things, okay, I'm not reporting that because that's a personal issue and all those things. Something you just kind of file away, right? And remember, Devontae Adams went to bat for Antonio Pierce uh, back when he was the interim trying to get the permanent job alongside Max Crosby. And then all of a sudden, just something changed, right? Oh, you've had bad quarterback play this year. You had worse quarterback play last year. And so all of these things have just kind of piled up where – 
I don't know what the answer is. And if it were a slip of a double tap on Instagram, right? Antonio Pierce gets word about it and will unlike it. And then you call Devante and you say, hey, bro, I didn't mean to do that. And that didn't take place. So all of these things have, have mounted. And I don't know really what the genesis was. And it, that's not extremely clear right now. But clearly something or some things have taken place to really sour a relationship that appeared a couple months ago like it was really solid. All right, well, the Raiders aren't the only dumpster fire currently in the NFL. We're going to get to a couple more oh in the Browns and the Bengals with J.J. right after this.